Welcome everyone to yet another Minecraft episode. So today we will hopefully be trying to, you know, defend against a village raid. Now, not just any village raid. Will be, I'll be trying to have the pillagers raid in my village here. Now, in that for that to happen, I need to obviously set up a few defenses first. So what I'm going to be doing is simply, first of all, actually, I have another golden apple, so I'm going to get a nice toolsmith. That's okay with them. So we take this. Now, as you can see, uh, the villagers uh, have been reproducing the loads. There are loads of this unemployed ones over there because I don't have enough um, tool stations. Now, that is kind of worrying because I honestly hope that um, a village counts as a village if it has enough villages but also enough employed villages. So, all of them have beds. So, there are enough houses, if you like, um, but not all of them have um, a workstation. What's this doing here? So, first of all, I'm going to try and get myself a toolsmith. I think smithing table is for a toolsmith. I'm not too sure though, but I guess we'll find out soon. Now, obviously, he's just parked here, um, ready to be attacked by a zombie, which will happen at night, because that's when zombies appear. Now, zombies love um, going around these villages. Why do I have random blocks of dirt? You know, zombies love coming in around here with these um, villages, just because they're attracted, obviously, to the villages. So, oh, I can hear one. Now, um, before we do anything else, of course, we need to check the yarn farm. Now, the yarn farm has been working superbly, which is really nice to know. Um, that's a lot of iron. And this is like, I don't know, maybe a few hours work of me just moving around, doing stuff, setting up for this episode. And already, we have a huge, huge amount of iron. What I'm going to be doing now is trying to get a uh, bed. I think there might be beds upstairs in the village, actually. And also some fence posts. I've also made myself a nice. Um, uh, what's in this? Uh, I've also made myself a nice storage room. As you can see, I have wool and loads of wool. Um, but also, I have fences, which I will want. Thank you. Here we go. Fences. And I think there's a bed, like I said, in the village, in the chest in the village. Look, iron golems are spawning in. Sometimes you have one or two iron golems at a time. Um, sometimes you don't have any at all and it's kind of been worrying when there hasn't been an iron going for a while and like, okay, has it stopped working somehow? Um, but no, it has been working and at this point, if hopefully, if it keeps on working, then it'll work for a long time yet. So why do I have this? I don't know. Okay. So, as you can see, it's now night time. Now, this technically isn't really preparation. Actually, it kind of is preparation for the um, raid. Now... Actually, how did I set this up? You know, I don't even need to put this um, like this. I can't. Can I? Is there? Yes. Okay. Because I'm trying to be, you know, conserving conserving space. So I'm trying to uh, use as little space as possible. If I put a bed here and a workstation here, then that should be, you know, that should be enough for the villager. Now. Of course, now it's time to invite um, a zombie in to uh, help us with our task. Now, is it properly night time? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, that zombie's too far away. It's a cat. Okay. I mean, he's too far away, but I might have to do, you know. Uh, as you can tell, because of my armor, um, mobs really, it's rare that I even get threatened by mobs. Come on. Look, another iron gun has dropped from the sky. I think it's about the magma block collection thing is that it takes a while for the magma blocks to actually kill the iron golem but because it's so far away from the village, it's virtually just spawning iron, another iron golem if they want to so there's no big deal come on thank you okay come on there we go, okay and then get into the boat Good, 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 right. Step one complete. Now I go here. Yep, there we go, it is happening. Come on. Why is it taking forever? <laughs> Come on. Are you serious? Okay, they're best friends now. Alright, let me go slightly far away. Do, do, do. Come on. 
this isn't really meant to be part of the video, I thought it wouldn't take long, so, um, has it been done yet? Yo, attack the villager. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing now, I suppose, is going to sleep. Um, actually, let me kill the skeletons first. I'm going to sleep, and then, hopefully, by tomorrow, in the game, obviously, um, everything will have been completed. The zombie might have even despawned, so we don't need to kill him. And we can go on our merry way. Hey. Okay. So, see you Okay, so it's the next day. Let me see how, uh, you can see actually there's been a creeper and there's a fight, there's a skeletons, but so let me see how my villager is doing. Hopefully it's all good. Now this is a good thing about playing in the hard difficulty that all your villagers send zombie villagers. Aha! It has worked. It's quickly good. Good. And... Doom. And... Doosh. Okay, we go. Alright. So now I need some armor because my boots are broken. But obviously, you know, usually diamond boots breaking is wow. I now need to find four more diamonds, but obviously now it costs me one emerald to get them. If I remember, I have this one here. Yeah, I do. Good, good, good. Okay, so this will be a good time to start doing our preparations for the fight. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I think, is just um, having a nice uh, little uh, area here, one block out like this, and that will be essentially where we'll. I do not want that to be around the village. Well, that'll be where I... Um, oh, come on, man. Where I uh, shoot at the uh, pillagers. Now, oh, that means I do actually need to get um, a nice bow. I have loads of arrows because I had a Fletcher. And I think the Fletcher died, but I bought loads of arrows from him. And, yeah, so arrows, bows, what else do I need? That's about it, really. Um, so, yeah. I think if I just do one block outwards. Now, there will be, of course, ones with the crossbow who can hit me. But with my armor, it shouldn't really do too much damage. Now, the big, big problem is those evokers. Because they can spawn in those vexes. Now, I have three iron golems down here. And I'm also going to put down an iron golem in my special villager area down there as well. Because I have plenty of fire and I can make those. And I might actually make one or two surrounding this village just in case. Because I have iron. Okay, he's still... Because I have iron. I have uh, pumpkins. I have everything required. So, I am going to start doing my operations. And then I will cut back to you. Okay, so our zombie villager has been... Uh, transferred yet again, uh, yet again to a normal villager so if I place him in this area and let's see what trades we can get so like I said I want him to be a toolsmith he is indeed a toolsmith that is good now there's actually not that good of a starting um, uh, trade up because I don't want to just buy those of axes you know so I'm going to break this and place it again where is it Cool. Right, good. Aha, that is excellent. That is very good. Um, that's a good starting trade, you know. So then I can. Uh, he's probably gonna. There you go. Okay, that's a good starting trade because I have a huge, huge amounts of coal. So let me just uh, quickly get that. So you can see it patched up a little bit here. That's essentially just to make it easier for me to um, to get the if anyone. So I can shoot them basically. Because essentially what happens is you can have um, villagers or pillagers or mobs or whatever just in those holes and it's hard to shoot them without getting down and then you need to expose yourself and then you aren't as safe and you die. So that essentially just covered me a little bit, made sure that um, I could easily shoot any people that I need to shoot down. Now another good thing about having a village like this is that the iron golems can actually hit through the fences. And, I mean, I've seen loads of mobs get hit like that. But I'm also set up some iron golem stuff. Just, actually, I don't want to do here. Just in case. Um, but so, the pillagers, I think it's the, which one is it? Vindicators, once they try to attack the uh, villagers, will stand right next to the fences. And then the iron golems will just easily take kill them. Oh, that's my call. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot the carpet. 
Okay, come on, come on, Bridger, come on. Cool. You see, I can, that can actually work, you know, because I have huge, huge amounts of iron. I honestly don't need that much iron. Okay. Cool. Wow, that is a good pickaxe. I might as well get a few of those. Okay, never mind. I already have a hoe, but... That's, wow, that is a decent pickaxe, you know. Come on. Okay. Diamond from Diamond from Emerald. Okay. He's obviously silly. Boom. Oh, come on, man. Okay. So as you can see, I'm using up a lot of my emeralds currently just because um, I really do want this villager to uh, give me something good. You know? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. After all of that, I'm breaking one diamond pickaxe. After all of that, seriously. But it's still nice because at least now when I want to pickaxe, I can get either an efficiency two. Ah, oh, no way is it. Okay. That is silly. After all of that, and I'm breaking one down pickaxe. But like I said, either way, it's nice and cheap for me. Next time I want to pickaxe, easy peasy. Just get some um, few emeralds, and that's it. So now it's night time, or nearly night time. I'm actually going to sleep inside the village here so that means if I die then um, at least I uh, die in the village and then I can respawn and get my stuff and go again so if I go here okay let me just wait around a little bit I'll do some parkour this nice what good parkour um but yeah so as you can see my inventory is full of good stuff this is a good thing with doing videos like this so this took a fair amount of effort but it all paid off in the end Ooh. so that is excellent there we go so now I sleep so now what I want to do is essentially set up these iron actually no let me not do that yet but first I'm going to go find myself a pillager outpost or a pillager raid and um, kill a captain so let me um, find one and then I'll get back to you okay so as I was searching for the outpost I found myself a nice desert temple now the reason I might want this is because um, they have some very nice uh, golden apples hopefully so I can get some um, better villages I mean you know what I've been doing for the past few uh, past little while so let's see so obviously touch that now, just in case, I do break all of the TNT because I do not want any accidents here at all. And that is a lot. Whoa, what the hell? I mean, I've been fighting a lot of mobs, but wow, I did not expect my inventory to be full. You know, I want that wood, please. Can I? No. There we go. Okay, well, luckily you have chests here, so I can offload some. Yes, golden apples. So I can offload some stuff in the chest. Golden apple, that's good. I mean, I mean look at this. That's all this is rubbish I don't need. Sweeping Edge 2, so I can get Sweeping Edge 3 on my sword, but even though they'll probably be really expensive, but hey. And um, let me take a saddle as well. And what's in here? Emeralds, that's good, so that is useful. And nothing else much. Okay, actually no limit because I have, um, I might as well take that because I have it already. Let me put this away, this away, not this. Okay. Alright, so. I see you. Actually, once I think we are quite close to an outpost, as in the one that, you know, one second. I think we are fairly close to an outpost from what I've heard. So let me try and find an exit. Where's the exit? Here's the exit. Not here. Okay, I am being silly, aren't I? Uh, oh, I'm being very silly. I have no blocks. I don't throw away my. No, I do. I, Sorry, it's been a long day already, even though it's the morning still. Here's the exit. Okay, good. So, from what I remember, the outpost should be in this direction here. So, let's see. I mean, why do I have such low FPS? One second. Let me, let me close this. Come on. Close. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I have high FPS now. So, not quite you know, that good. Okay. It might be because my... Uh, high render distance so I can actually find an outpost. Now I hope this isn't the uh, outpost I found before. I should be near it. 
Now hopefully it'll be over this hill. Do do. Ooh. Oh. Oh man, it's the outpost I found before. That is annoying. Do you have villages or pillages still spawning in or do I need to find another one? Oh, I might need to find another one. That's annoying because I spent a long time getting here. Come on. No, nothing spawning in. Oh yes, no. Aha. There we go. The captain. So immediately the one I need. Come on then. Also, this is my good sword. I put spending on it, so now I'm just using it. Here we go. Okay. So now I have the status thing. Unlucky guys, yep. Yeah, that's it, I'm gone. Bye. So I have the status effect thing. So I should be now um if I enter my village, it should now start a raid. Now that's the hoop to be honest. I don't actually know how it works with um if you raid your if you can raid villages you already made, but to be honest, like my th I think my village is like probably bigger, or well, not maybe bigger, but like has more villagers than normal naturally spawning villages so you know I don't know okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back home and then I will uh, return to you when I'm ready to start the raid before we get there just look at this amazing ravine I found just stumbling across and look at that wow that is large it's completely open here as well let me just take coordinates I did the shift F3 thing Wow, wow, that is, hmm, well, I mean, too bad I'm not mining now, but see, that is quite cool, okay, right, that's a, that uh, desert temple, okay, well, let's see you soon then.